All right, hello and welcome back to the Collective Minds podcast. Here's just a short, quick one for you. So this came out today. Skin rotting drug Trank infiltrates big cities, zombifying bodies. From the New York Post it goes, "There's a new drug in town, and it has deadly consequences. Xylazine, otherwise known as Trank, Trank dope and zombie drug, is wreaking havoc in major cities across the country with its devastating effects." It can literally rot the user's skin. The substance, which seemed to first appear in Philadelphia before migrating west to San Francisco and L.A., was used for cutting heroin, but most recently it has been discovered in fentanyl and other illicit drugs. Approved by the Food and Drug Administration for veterinary use, xylazine, a non-opioid, is not safe for humans, and those who overdose on the drug do not respond to naloxone or Narcan, the most common overdose reversal treatments. A xylazine causes sedative-like symptoms, such as an excessive sleepiness and respiratory depression, as well as raw wounds that can become severe and spread rapidly with repeated exposure. The crusty ulcerations, which can become dead skin called eschgar, can result in amputation if left untreated. Because it is not listed as a controlled substance for animals or humans, Trank lands in a confusing and horrifyingly gray area, and hospitals rarely test for it with routine toxicology screenings. Last month, one Philly user suddenly developed xylazine-specific wounds near her opioid injection sites. She says, I'd wake up in the morning crying because my arms were dying. The city has now reported that 90% of lab-tested dope samples from 2021 contain xylazine, which can increase the risk of overdose when combined with other illicit substances. But the lethal combination of substances is what gives xylazine its appeal. The high of the opioid, such as fentanyl, is extended with the help of Trank. It's too late for Philly. Sean Westfall an outreach worker with Prevention Point Philadelphia, told the Times, Philly's supply is saturated. If other places around the country have a choice to avoid it, they need to hear our story. People with substance use disorders who get hooked on the zombifying drug believe the emerging substance killed any kind of joy that came with getting high. Trank is basically zombifying people's bodies. Sam, 28, told Sky News, until nine months ago, I had never had wounds. Now, there are holes in my legs and feet. The worrying trink trend comes as the New York City Department of Health reported that 2,668 New Yorkers died of overdoses in 2021. Experts warn that xylazine could worsen the ongoing drug epidemic. Dr. Gary Tsai, the Director of Substance Abuse Prevention and Control with the LA County Department of Public Health, believes the drug's prevalence would increase deaths from overdoses. The main concern is we're already amidst the worst overdose crisis in history, nationally and locally. Psy told the LA Times. Very interesting. I think a lot of these people thought that the side effects of injecting Fent or anything else these past couple years, they just thought it was the drug or what could possibly be in the drug. And now it looks like we're finding out what it is. What is this going to lead to? I'm not sure. I'd like to hear you guys' opinions. In other news, uh, mainstream media is going off about the psychedelic movement. A whole new movement that once happened back in the 60s. Now it's being pushed again. LSD, the works. And you start to wonder why that is. Why do they want to push drugs again? I mean, other than to get you to stop looking at what's going on around. To, I mean, that's a great way of human depopulation, I suppose, especially when they can sneak stuff into it. That ends up eating holes through your body. But we look around these cities and people keep moving because they don't want to live there. Because they drive by their parks, their schools, the sidewalks. And if they can get past the fecal matter, what you're left with is these people. These homeless people, some had great lives just a year or two ago, and they're nodding off and walking around the street like zombies. Now they're having flesh-eating compounds tear their bodies apart, making them literally look out of a movie, out of a zombie movie. Very interesting. So why would the government allow this to happen? Why would they allow, why would we allow as a, as a culture to allow these drugs around? I understand some things. But I think most, if not all, people can agree that certain drugs should be illegal. They should be contained. They should be ridden of our streets. Children shouldn't have to accidentally pick something up and all of a sudden their hands get eaten or something like that. It's interesting. Why would the government allow this to happen? Well, they allowed it to happen, actually, uh... When Owsley Stanley and his friends ushered in the psychedelic movement in 1965, when they started making and distributing LSD, it was almost exactly at the same time as the military escalation in Vietnam and the violence associated with the civil rights movement. Very interesting. Especially because we're virtually living in a completely psycho civil rights movement right now. And Russia just got a, got rid of its uh, last little bit of I won't nuke you 
treaty, and we're the closest to World War III we've ever been. Let me know what you think. Make sure to check out Rumble, like, subscribe, comment.